So hello again. Uh, if if you weren't here for the first step, for the first video, uh, you don't need to. It's how I train uh, a unit. I'm showing you how to, which tools I'm using and how it makes the process uh, easier. So we'll need to work through and we will examine examine all of this slowly. So one one of the tools I really like is um, is called Image Viewer. So let's go to the add-ons. There is no special order. I will just think about them. And okay, paste images from clipboard, but where? Okay, in some kind of oh, okay from uh, crazy for, for documentation. Very nice. Uh, in our case, this is what I'm talking about. So for debugging, when let's say I run this uh, training and let's say uh, here. Or maybe let's see images, images, images. Okay, let's let's uh, slowly go through this. <coughs> it should stop here. No, here because we have breakpoint. And then F five, and then now it should stop a bit later. Is it doing anything? It's a bit weird. Oh, it's here. Okay. Um, let's have a look at these images. What's this? So this is okay. This is a list of images. Now let's stop this and let's dump image equals images and let's get the first one. I run it again. For, oh, I forgot. I need to thank uh, the author of this. So thanks. Oh, sorry. I, don't, I can't pronounce. I don't know how to read that. But thanks to the, the author. Because now, since we stopped here, we can have a look at this variable. And I think it's an image. Or is it? I don't think it's one. What's what's the type of this? It's a tensor, but what's the size of this tensor? Three. Let's see where the images are rooted. So if you do it, the thing is, it it reads only one image one image at a time. Okay, I guess here, here, F5, up, it stops here, and now if I have a look into this, it should be a pill image, and I should be able to read it. Yes, if I double click, now I can view the image, <laughs> which is very nice for debugging. Let's say we add the breakpoint here. Oh. And if it, if it changes, so let's remove this breakpoint. Sometimes it updates itself, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, you just need to double click on the variable and it will update itself. 
most of the time. Where is it stuck? Oh, here. Yes. So it does update itself. Actually, there are two. I will stop it now. There are two um, add ons that do that. There is another one that you don't need to activate. I think I I came across it using the internet, so let's do that. Image Python debugger. Yes, code. It's this one. <coughs> Where is it here? Here. What's this? Okay, so we can install this. I don't know which one's better. I don't know which one works better. I actually <laughs> had them both. Uh, but let's try this one and remove the other one. Now let's rerun this. F5, I want the Python 5, LDM. Oops. And here, if I click here, I can view the images. And I think this is the second add on. If I'm not wrong, I mean, you can check. Yeah, it's this one. Uh, I don't know if it does as many uh, formats as the other one, but it's it's a very cool one. So the next add-on, the, the next thing I like to do, um, the next add-ons are simple ones. So I basically have bylands that I really like, Python. I have uh, a type. Um, how is it called? The type. Um, so Python. So I use linters, and I use all kind of linters. I use uh, <coughs> almost uh, every linter. Um, I just to remove a few rules. So to to get to the linters, I think you need to go to uh, settings here settings and then you just type linter and here you can go to python or lint you can go to python and here you can see whether to lint python files uh, i use flag 8 uh, mypy this is for strong uh, for uh, typing but you see it's not installed so we need to install it and it will ask you, let's use pip. And it's installing it, I will stop this. Uh, I lint on save uh, and I use, I forgot how it's called. Um, let's look at this. Uh, Python linter strong typing. But MyPy doesn't enforce. <coughs> Whatever. Uh, so anyways, I use linters and you can have uh, Python. If I type Python typing. Well, why, 
way does the search suck this much? So this one's cool too. It generates the uh, uh, here. You just start type the two and the three commas, and it will generate your. type hint oh sorry uh, it's not yeah it's type hint so th this will suggest uh, typing I will probably make a video on its own uh, about uh, linters 